Hey guys, it's Lisa here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you another great game that I made using Google Slides, similar to the um, Sweet Escapes Escape Room, if you saw my video on that. Uh, this one is for money counting, so it is similar the way that you set it up, but not exactly the same, and there is a, a key difference between the two that you're really going to want to pay attention to. Okay, so here I have my, my game. Okay, we're gonna get it into present mode. It says, do you know how much money to pay the ice cream man? So the name of this game is called Brain Freeze, right? You wanna get the ice cream so you can get that brain freeze. All right, so each slide, there is an ice cream menu here and there's going to be a red circle indicating the ice cream that you're going to purchase. Then you have to decide which one is the correct amount of money to pay the ice cream man. So obviously we all know 50 cents is here okay but if i click on the one dollar try again her ice cream's on the floor she gets none okay so when i click the two quarters you're gonna see that it says good job okay she's happy she's got her ice cream perfect okay when i click it it's going to go to the next slide this one is three dollars okay so i'm going to click up here where the, the three dollars is good job all right and then a dollar um a dollar for the ice cream sandwich it sounds so delicious right now it's nice and hot out finally okay and then i have here two dollars okay two dollars again okay so this time i broke it up into a dollar and four quarters it's a little more difficult and difficult as we go along uh, okay and then here i have a dollar fifty all right and at the end congratulations you got brain freeze all right, and then that is the end of the game. It's nice and, and short. Again, it's for younger younger students. Like I know my daughter um, is doing money in, in first grade right now. So if you teach the elementary grade levels, this is great. Okay, you can also obviously make it a lot more difficult and you can put you know high school level math in if you really wanted to. Um, you might wanna not make it such a childish theme, but again, uh, this is how you're going to set up the game. Uh, so here I have my first slide. So you're going to find and insert whatever images you want, depending on the theme of your, your game. Um, and then I just went to Google image and I found images of, of the money, the quarter, the nickel, the dime, the penny, and I, I put them all in um, separate. I, I, you know, I found them separately. And you can re use remove.bg as a website to remove backgrounds. You can use Lunapic. If you have Microsoft Word on your computer, you can use that as well to remove the background of these images if they are not truly transparent. Okay, once you have all your images, and like I said in some of my other videos, when I'm creating something, I always leave myself at least two blank slides. And those are my, my I call them like my workspace. Okay, that's where I'm gonna organize most of my stuff. That's where I, I made the ice cream menus here, okay, because I added the amount of money to them. Okay, so I, I did all of that in my workspace, and then when you're all done, you just delete it. This way you don't have too much going on all on one slide. All right, um, I made my background, put this in, I added the circle by just going up here to shapes, okay, and I added a circle, okay, and it's not see-through, so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to click it, and you're gonna have to click transparent, okay, and then you can change it to whatever color you want, you can make the line as thick as you want. And then you would just place that over the ice cream. Okay, from here, I'm going to go, I, well, I went back to shapes, okay, and then I clicked this shape here, which is the rounded rectangle, and I created two boxes for myself. Okay, now if you look carefully at my boxes, you'll see there's another box around the outside, okay? So I would love to tell you I did that intentionally. Um, I don't plan on using this because I teach high school, uh, it was more for me to play with my daughter and to, to make it for all of you. So uh, I did not make it perfect. You can minimize this outside box and I'm gonna explain what it's used for. Similar to my other Sweet Escapes escape room game. Um, but you, you wanna try to have that as perfect as you can afterwards, okay? Just for now, like I said, for the demonstration, I, I'm not worried about it, okay? But what that is, is it's, it's a transparent box. And you see when I click on that transparent box, it says slide 15. Okay, if we go ahead and we look down to slide 15, you're going to see slide 15 says try again, because obviously if the ice cream is 50 cents, this is not the correct answer. So to link that, okay, I am going to get rid of it. So what happens is if I wanted to link it to that answer, and it's popping up again, okay. 
So this is what this is what yours is going to look like. If you right click on the shape and you go down to link, okay, this is what the box is going to look like. Now, normally, if we wanted to embed a link to this, we would just go to a website and um, take the the URL or uh, the the link to a, a PDF. Okay, we can link it to a PDF if we wanted to, and we would just put that here and hit apply. Here, we want to link it to another slide in this presentation. Okay, and we said that that was slide 15. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna put that back. Okay, and then for this one down here, you do the same thing. Now, I just showed you how to create a transparent image. So there's actually a transparent box over top of the money. Now, in the previous video that I made for the Sweet Escapes escape room, you only needed one transparent box over the entire slide and then underneath the boxes because I had grouped the images and whatever. Okay, so if you want, you can group the image, but then it, not, it doesn't allow you to add the, the link to the slide. So for whatever reason, I had to create a second transparency over top. So you're gonna to wanna to put a transparent box over top of the whole slide, okay, so that they can't click out here and then have it just go to another slide automatically without giving the correct answer. And then you're going to wanna to put another box, transparent box over top of the money and the blue box. Well, I have a blue box here. Um, and that the transparency is what's going to be linked to your, your slides. Now, Again, like I had mentioned, you see I have my workspace down here. That's exactly what I was just talking about. Ahead of time, I went and grabbed all of the images I thought I might use, and I put them all here so I could just copy and paste. It makes it faster. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six questions. So I know that I'm going to then have to create six correct response slides, and I'm going to have to create six error slides, okay? because each one is going to be linked to one of the question slides. They each need to have their own, otherwise it's impossible to direct them to the correct place. And you know, just like the last game again, I have my introduction slide. It's just a cute little way, you know, Mrs. Mazarego summer fun games, okay? I'll probably make a couple more summer theme type games that I can of course share with all of you. Um, and then, you know, this is, this is money themed, okay? So from here, the last time I did weather, from here, you just going to want to make sure that you create a like con congratulatory, you know, you made it, you successfully, you know, got your ice cream. So I, I said you got brain freeze. It's just something that was cute. Okay. And then my ice cream here is a, is a GIF. So I literally just went to Google Images and I typed in ice cream GIF. And then a bunch of GIFs popped up. Popped up. Uh, here's the one that I chose, and you'll see. Okay, you're just gonna want to click on them, okay? Because sometimes things say that they're a GIF, and then when you click on them, like nothing happens. So um, make sure before you choose one, this one's really cute too, actually. Um, make sure you just check them out, okay? From here, you're just gonna right click. You're gonna save as, okay? And then pay attention to where they're going on your computer. Okay, so mine are going to downloads. I can always click and I can have it saved to the desktop. Sometimes I like to save things there depending on how I want um, to be able to access them. Okay, so now it would go to the desktop. And then I would just save it and then go back to my game. And then from here, I'm going to go to insert image upload from computer. And I know I saved that on my desktop. So if I click here in the desktop, folder, you see there it says Jiffy. And I could have changed the name of that, but now my GIF is here. Okay, I'm gonna delete that one because I like the one that I have better. Okay, and then, you know, you just put it into present mode and you're gonna play your game, okay? So I really hope that you enjoyed this cute little game. Like I said, it's a little bit of a, um, a different game than I, I made for the last one, but it basically does the same thing. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you have any questions, comment down below. But as always, do not forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss my future videos. Take care, guys.